Hey boys and girls, I'm Dustin Mankin and today on Tomica Tuesday we are unboxing this, sorry, <laughs> this, we're unboxing this S13 Sylvia. I This S13 Sylvia from Tomica has a paint job that is inspired by Japanese history. Uh, it's a really awesome retro themed car that I feel has strong Edo undertoes and I really dig it. Now, to be honest, this is just a repainting of a previous mold that Tomica had created for the initial D series. This particular car, if you follow the manga, is driven by Ikitani Senpai. There is also a 370Z in the same collection. You can see there's a sticker there, so this is going to be the one we're unboxing when we get to that. It is also a really cool car, but like the S13, that is another video for another day. But for right now, it is all about this awesome looking blue Sylvia. So let's go have a seat at the table and get this guy unboxed. But first, I'm going to show you how to open these up safely. And I'm going to call this the razor blade and toothpick method because it uses a, wait for it, razor blade and toothpick. And I learned this technique from a Japanese friend of mine who also collects mini cars. And we all know that the Japanese want to do everything in their life perfect. So if they said it's good, it's good. Also, I just want to point out that if you cut yourself with a razor or anything, which is entirely possible doing this, uh, I'm not responsible for that. So, uh, so just use this at your own risk. Let's open this guy up. Okay, so this car is wrapped in cellophane and back here is where the flap folds in. You're just going to take your razor blade real gently and just run it right along that line. Okay, don't, don't go too far down or you're going to end up cutting your box. That's good enough. Okay, now, if you want to be extra careful after you open it up a little bit, just bring your razor blade here along this edge and here on the other side along this edge and you'll be able to flip this back. Now, probably what I would do is I would go ahead and very carefully, sorry, I know it's hard to see this with my fingers in the way, but uh, I would very carefully slice that off. And now you can keep the cellophane on the rest of the box if you want to. You don't have to, that's up to you, uh, you know, this is really weird for me because I am definitely an in the box. Wow, those cars are really loud today. <laughs> I'm definitely an in the box type of collector. So uh, opening boxes is a little bit new for me. But, you know, a lot of times people want to dig right here in this corner and they want to pull. And uh, over time, you're going to get some creasing here and stuff. And I think that's why the Japanese like to do it with the toothpick because you don't have to worry about bending the box out here and you don't have to worry about getting any creases in the lid here. There is a little lip right here and you can see I put my toothpick in there and we are just going to gently, you don't want to do anything too strong when you do this because let's see I left a little bit of flap of plastic up there. Let's pull this back. I can get this open, but they literally go right here. And, <laughs> well, I'm taking the plastic off, screw it. And you just want to pull. Oh, <laughs> I broke the toothpick so much for a tutorial, right? But you can see it came out and everything is literally okay. And the box is still in good shape. And I know that wasn't the best demonstration, but uh, over some time you'll get used to it. I don't open the flaps up too much, just a little bit. And you can see the car right down in here. And the Tomikas are also covered in plastic when they are inside of the box. So uh, it's entirely up to you if you want to keep all of this plastic or you just want to put the car back in the box 
as it is. Me, I'm probably going to keep this plastic. Um, actually, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you guys a way to store these in the future that makes sense to me. But the car is out of the box, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. It's a really nice car. Uh, I really, really, really like this car. Um, you know, the cool thing about the Tomica is that the doors do open on both sides. Now, there is no opening on the hood or the trunk or anything like that, but the doors do open. And of course, the downside to the doors opening is there is a visible seam that is much bigger on a scale car than what it would be on a real car. So, uh, it kind of hurts some of the detail of the car, but it is functionality and the guys that are into action figures and stuff, you always know that the more joints and the more posability that the figure comes with, the more you can see those joints and sometimes it's not as uh, aesthetically pleasing as a, I guess instead of a figure, more like a sculpture, right? But, I mean, you have to pay for your functionality and speaking of functionality, these cars also have a spring suspension and you can do each wheel like this or uh, I know it's hard to show them all at the same time but you can do both and that is available in the front and the rear and if you look these wheels are pretty awesome uh, Tomica does not have great wheels Tomica has Tomica wheels and that's Tomica style and uh, Tomica will always have those style wheels. So if you want something like a realistic wheel or something, uh, Tomica is not for you, but these cars are awesome. Uh, they're pretty, pretty nicely detailed. We'll go over that a little bit more in a minute. Uh, the bottom on the flip side is not so detailed. Uh, I think Hot Wheels is a little bit more detailed down below than that, but that is all right. You can see Nissan Silvia and uh, let's turn this around. This guy is a 159 scale car, so not quite 164. It's actually a little bit bigger than 164. But here's your nice paint, and that is not a sticker. That's not a sticker. That is painted onto the side of the car. And the top, you do have a windshield decal. That is a like a water slide decal, it feels like. And on the hood... I don't know if that's a paint application or not. Let me get a little bit closer to my own eyes. Uh, I think this might be a paint application on top of the clear. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but it is not cleared with what's below it. But, you know, here's your factory Sylvia wing. And, oh man, that's awesome. That's, that's really awesome, dude. On the front of this guy right here, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it actually is painted and says Sylvia. Even a car this small, they managed to print the factory Sylvia logo on the front grille, just like the real S13. Uh, this also has clear corners, but these lights are all plastic. Uh, the turn signals are a paint application. But overall, let's see, the rear tail lights, are they? Uh, the rear tail lights are a paint application as well, but you can see on the rear trunk, it does have the shape of the emblem painted on, and it does have the word Sylvia in the lower garnish, as well as a Nissan logo below the left tail light, just like on the real. 1-1 one, one scale car. I think this car is really awesome, man. Like, uh, it's a little bit expensive. I think this thing was like 600 yen. And uh, of course, if you are buying it in America, it's going to be a little bit more expensive than that because you have to pay to ship it. And obviously, like, dude, I'll tell you right now, I'll sell you one if you want one. I'll go to the store and get you one, but I'm gonna have to have a little bit of money for my effort so I don't know what the shipping is going to be on this car uh, I'll have to find a small box and everything so uh, if you're interested and you really really want one I will get one to you and uh, if you're an early buyer I'm gonna have to figure 
uh, everything out. So please be patient with me, but I will get all this figured out and I can be your hookup for Rare Tomika in Japan. That's it for this episode of Tomika Tuesday. I really like this S13 Sylvia and if you are a Nissan fan, a Sylvia fan, a drift fan, or just a mini car collector in general, I would highly recommend that you pick this thing up for your collection. Uh, like I said, I already have this casting in the initial D two-tone Sylvia, and I really, really, really was excited to see another color scheme. I know it's a little bit wild, and some of you might like a little bit more realistic paint scheme, but, I mean, Hot Wheels does not have an S13 Sylvia option at the time that I filmed this video. Hopefully Hot Wheels will pick it up because the Hot Wheels 180 was awesome. But until that happens, if you need an S13 in a small scale, this is definitely one to pick up. Later on, I will open and review the initial DS13, which at the time I'm filming this is getting a little bit harder to find. So if you would like me to go ahead and pick you up one of those, I highly recommend you hit me up in the comments below and we will talk about it. If you guys like this video, please go ahead and click like and share. That does a lot to help the page grow. But if you wanna do something for yourself and you are enjoying these Tomika Tuesday videos, do yourself a favor and hit the subscribe button below. Subscribing always has been and always will be for you. That's just so you can see the latest videos from Japan. Not only do I do car unboxing and model car collecting, but I also film drifting in Japan and I also do a lot of stuff about my Japanese life. If that sounds interesting to you, we'd love to have you aboard. Until then, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Next week on Tomika Tuesday, we open a premium DR30 Skyline.